That night in Tidmouth Sheds, Thomas was waiting to see James. Well, did you talk to him? Talk to whom? To Percy, James. Did you apologize? I tried, but he wouldn't listen. He started talking about doing something brave. Where is he? He hasn't come back. He's probably taking the mail train, Thomas. Yes, and he probably thinks taking the mail train is very brave. <laughs> Has anyone seen Percy? I don't know what's got into that engine. Running backwards through the docks, delivering mail late, driving away when I'm talking to him. Now he hasn't collected his mail trucks. Perhaps I should go and look for him, sir. Perhaps, Thomas. You should take the mail train for your friend. And if you do see Percy, tell him I would like a word. Yes, sir. I will, sir. So Thomas took the mail train again, but he couldn't help worrying about his friend and wondering where he could be. Where is he? Hasn't he come back yet, James? James! Where is he, James? I already told you. He's doing something brave. Something brave? Like what? Oh, how should I know? Maybe he's gone up to the clay pits to catch a monster. Yes, James, the clay pits. Why didn't I think of that? Come on, we'd better find him before he gets into trouble. Uh, I'm not going. Uh, I'm too sleepy. What? You have to come. You have to apologize and. You're not scared, are you? I'm not scared of anything. I'm the bravest engine on the island of Sodor. Come on, Thomas, keep up! <gasps> the ship. Then Thomas remembered what Percy said about being as brave as Gator and going to a faraway land. No, he wouldn't, James. 